Just look at all these pencils. And they're high quality pencils. And high quality pencils need a good pencil sharpener. I wonder what pencil sharpener is going to be good enough to do all these different variety of pencils. Let's take a look. Hmm. I wonder what is in this black velvet bag. And here we have the Coom Automatic Long Point Pencil Sharpener. The Hovel Pencil Sharpening Plain. I love this fella. It is so cute. It's brass and it's perfect for sharpening all of your fine art pencils. And basically, all you have to replace are the blades. So once you've made your purchase of this, it is a considered purchase. However, a high quality pencil sharpener for your desk with the hand cranks are in the hundreds if you want good blades that are not gonna break your pencils. And this on Jackson Art Supplies is about 89 euros. I'm not sure what that is in dollars and um, sterling, but it's 80, I paid about 89 uh, euros a um, couple of months back. You've got a video on my channel about it. And I've been practicing using this. And you can see it's not as shiny as it was. I've not cleaned it deliberately. I'm going to be making a video about cleaning it. And I have got a replacement blade in here that I have changed. So I've used one replacement blade out of the pack it comes with. And this is the pack that it comes with. It's tiny. And you get about 12 blades in this pack. Now, what I've noticed since playing with the Hovel is that the blade that's already in there when it comes, not in, in the pack, but actually in the hovel, is not as sharp as the replacement blades, because I was having trouble with the Conte pencils, but particularly the Prismacolor Premier pencils. The wood barrels of those are not very good quality, and you really need a sharp, sharp, um, a blade to get through that wood otherwise it damages the actual pencil core and so these are really great and they're like four euros 90 for 12 and if you are going to be doing a lot of sharpening you probably I'm going to say it might do say up to 50 pencils possibly depending on what they are before you've got to replace the uh, uh the actual you know the blade but what i mean by that is doing it like from scratch if you're actually just keeping a pencil sharp then it's going to last you a while but all of my pencils <laughs> were completely no lead was left and i was having to sharpen them all from scratch and the bonus of this is i don't get hand blisters the amount of time that you've got to sharpen a pencil when you're drawing, you can really get sore hands. Even using a hand crank, you can get very sore. But with this, it is a little bit time consuming, but you're going to get the perfect pencil point. And it's so authentic when you're using fine art pencils like the Conte. Artists like to really refine their materials and get the point just right. And other sharpeners make the pencil look too uniform and um, very commercial looking. Whereas the pencil plane like this is making it more rugged and authentic and is adding to the art experience. Now I know there was another artist on YouTube who um, was kindly gifted this, I think, from the company. And she did not get on with it at all. And I would say that the Hovel is geared more towards fine artists rather than illustrators. I think um, fine artists are 
it's a different breed of creative person compared to illustrators and they do different work and need, have different needs and different supplies. Now you can be both, I do some illustration work as well, but my main focus is and my main materials are for fine art. And so the Hovel has really come in handy and I love, I mean let's just have a look at some of my Conte pencils. First of all, let's take a look at a Prismacolor Premier. And that's the point. Let's have a look here. If we can just focus on that. Can you see it looks more arty, how it's been planed down. And I've been using my Conte a lot lately. So I might not, I mean, I've got a good exposure of blade, um, not blade of, what do you call it? Um, the actual point here, it's really exposed. And that's what you can do with the hovel. You can really get rid of a lot of the wood without damaging the core of the pencil. And the more you get used to it, the less time it takes. It just, you need to be a little bit more patient. And basically, you need to enjoy the process. That's what I mean about fine artists. They enjoy um, the experience of the maintenance of their art supplies. And basically, this is a maintenance tool. You are protecting your pencils. And after all, you if you can't use your pencils, you can't create. And so, I, I'm loving the Hovel. It's one of the best purchases that I have done in a long time for my art. And it's so cute that I put it in a little velvet bag I had spare. This one needs probably sharpening a bit now, but because uh, I use it so much, whereas this one I don't. So you can see the points um, I could get on that. This one I've used a lot, <laughs> so but I've gotten rid of a lot of the wood on that. And then this tiny one I've used as well, but you can see how I have been planing the wood down. There's sort of like a magical feel to it when you whittle the pencil. So you can see in here the name Hovel and you can see it's looking quite tarnished. And this little screw is where you unscrew and replace the blade. So let's unscrew that now. So you can see the, the screw has come out now. And you just lift this up and it comes out. If you'd like to get your own Hovel, click my affiliate link in my description below this video. See you in the next video. Bye.